um, flagging is never really an issue. I think that was the best best game I've played of the match so far. Okay, let's go for for something a bit solid here. He had a fork, really. We played ten games, so there are potentially fourteen games left if the match go if the match goes the distance. No, I don't think I missed the mate in one because his knight was protect uh, protecting c eight. This um, yeah, I don't think I did. Should anyway not read chat. Losing I IQ P IQ points by the mates. I know you were promised losses and you haven't gotten gotten them. I'm sorry about that. I think it's something about our, our styles that he's a good defender but not an especially good attacker and then I just end up being somewhat better in a lot of games and naturally end, ends up being a bunch of draws. And also in this in this game, the position is very, very dry. We could well see see another one of those those draws. But I'm hoping eventually after we've traded that my pawn structure on, on the queen side is gonna be a little bit better. Okay, let's bring the knight around. Possibly to d6 and f5, attacking this one. Also, now that the, um, his pawn is on g3, it's hard to play f3, so it's a little bit harder to kick the knight away. Yeah, let's just reroute the knight. I'm not so worried about the c file here, since I got a good square for the knight in f5, and my position is very, very safe. Uh, I don't think he should have taken on, on d5, to be honest. I think that was good for me structurally. g4, yeah. I spoke about knight f5, so he decided to prevent it. It's very, very, very sensible. Queen f6, rook d1, rook b8. But he does have rook c6, though. Maybe I'll go the other way, try and pull some the c file after all. I also have the threat of queen b4 potentially attacking d4 and a4. Yeah, rook c6 makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I guess I changed my mind. I'm gonna move the knight back so that it's not it's not hanging. But I think over the last two moves, uh, sorry, the last few moves, his moves have been a little bit more to the point than mine. Maybe there was also a queen b5 there. Yeah, let's let's exchange a few pieces. After all, my pawn structure may be a little bit better in the ending, so it's not like exchanges are necessarily bad for me. If rook d6, there's rook c1 and queen d6. Good thing this is not the arrow of championship. Yeah, you're quite right. Oh, he probably made a move a long time ago. I just didn't notice. Okay. Rook c5. Yeah, let's force that exchange. Force it like force, huh? Um, queen b5, queen b5, rook c1, take an f2, we can take an a5, it looks good for me. Oh, he goes for it. It's an interesting choice. Certainly complicated, complicating the game. I've also got rook b7. Queen a5, take on c5, I win the exchange, and I have d4 later on. Mm, it's unclear, but it looks good for me. Let's -a go. Must be, must be better for me. Queen e5, b4, d3, attending queen e2. And if takes, I take an i2. Hopefully invading. So 
give a couple of checks, but I don't think it matters. Yeah, now I check and I take on b4, and I just win. Queen d4, threatening rook a1. Good stuff. Very good, very, very good. Yeah, it looked like another draw, but I think my technique there was pretty good. I, uh, I gain more and more ground and eventually it's too much for him. So I try to uh, sort of not so ambitious line here by just going knight c3 and knight f3 against this here. Doesn't he just get a Queen's Indian and tempo down? Don't know what his idea is. If he goes e6, I go e4. And normally the white pawn is on a a3 and the Queen's Indian. Whether I have the best technique? Mm, it depends on the situation. In general, I have good understanding and that usually leads to playing end endings well. But my rook, rook endings can be a bit bit shaky sometimes. But they have gotten a lot, lot better. Um, I have gotten a lot more comfortable and confident in defending worse rook, rook endings. Mm, okay, here is just a, it's just a tempo down on some normal Theoretical lines, I think. How much income tax did I play, pay last year? Is that really any of your business? <laughs> Don't worry, I pay my taxes. I'm a good citizen. Yeah, I, I know I shouldn't. I shouldn't let myself be baited. Somehow, like answering the most stupid questions though. Oh, but maybe I should have gone a3 first. Maybe now we can take bishop a6, trade off a few pieces. But I still think I'm a bit better there. Thanks for streaming. You're welcome. Maybe his idea is queen c4 um, and then bishop b4. It's a bit annoying actually. It's probably really annoying. Especially in blitz, those positions are a bit difficult to play when he has so many good squares for his pieces and with such a um, relatively small material investment. Yeah, I think I don't have much now, but I probably have a little bit. Because I'm going to go, after knight c6, I'm going to go queen c2, uh, forcing him to, to trade, or not to trade, but to take my rook. And then I think I will get control over over the c-file. Will I adopt the world championship challenger? In bullet, maybe. Knight d5. Okay. What's the point? He probably wants to go to f6 later to attack e4. So I guess I'll go rook c1 then. Knight coming to c6. Looks like I'm considerably better now. Hmm, yeah, knight, knight c6, queen c6, that I missed. So I have to go f3 and that's not really a desirable position, we're speaking. Anything else? Yeah, d5, no. Okay. I don't know why he took. I got queen c6 here with a slightly better ending, possibly. Also knight c6 looks good. Bishop f4, but knight is so strong. It's just paralyzing his queen and his rook. I'm probably much better now. Yeah, bishop e3 doesn't do much. Let's push. Takes, takes. Thinking of takes, possibly 97, 95. Okay, and now I just chop this one off. 
and d6. Oh, so this what this is how he's sort of fighting on. Or maybe it's not queen d3 and then d7. I think that just wins immediately. Oh no, I'm not threatening the bishop. Okay, calm down just a tad. Calma, calma. Calma. Rook e2 maybe? Yeah, rook e2 looks good. Knight e7. Don't think there are any serious tricks here. Yeah, none of this works for him. Hmm, it's fighting on. Let's give a check. Rookie two, just be really, really safe. And he's obviously left empty handed there. Queen of five, queen d eight, otherwise queen of six. Queen of six, queen c5. But now this is an inertia at this point. Okay.